Welcome everyone, friends and family, dearly beloved. It's my honour to welcome you here today to celebrate the marriage of Milciades Guevara and Kate McGarry. Uh, would you like to be seated? Oh, it's my honour to um, be marrying these two today. Uh, in the Christian tradition, marriage, marriage is seen as a gift from God. It's an institution that goes back to the beginning of time. Marriage at its best is created to create stability for family life. It's where intimacy can be realized. It's a place where love and joy can be experienced and discovered. Luciatis and Kate, it's our joy to come together with you today to share in the celebration with you, to witness your vows one to another, to pray with you, and to wish you well in your life together. And so this is why we're here this afternoon with Musiades and Kate, to encourage them as they step out in faith. They're committing their lives together, they're trusting in love, but they're also trusting in the power of God to help them become more loving people than they are even at the moment. This is a brave step. But this is a great step. And the good news is that being loving people, it's not something that we just, we have to do on our own. We do it together. We do it in community. But even more than that, it's something that God is able to work and do through us. So we'll see others and Kate. If you don't remember anything from the service, remember this. God loves you. And he's able to make you even more lovable than you are at the moment. So may you guys be blessed by God as you take hold of his help and experience his joy as you walk through the rest of your lives together. And our prayer would, for you would be, like that passage in Philippians, that God's grace and love would abound to you all the more as you realize all the good things that God has in store for you. We'll see how this thing came. Do you believe it's the purpose of God for you two to enter into marriage with each other? <coughs> you do? Do you believe? Yep. You do. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I'm just telling you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't stress. <laughs> All right. Luciades, Armando, Guevara, Venusi. Will you take Catherine Aldith McGarry as your wife in marriage? Will you love her? 
comfort her, honour her and keep her, in sickness and in health, and be faithful to her, as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Eldeth McGarry, will you take Nunciatus Amandro Guevara Benushi as your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, <laughs> honour him and keep him, in sickness and health, and be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live? <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to ask Missy Addis and Kate to take up the marriage vows together, or to each other. This is the bit where they look into one another's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, all that I am, I give to you, and all that I have, I share with you. Whatever the future holds, I will love you and strengthen you as long as we both shall, shall live. Shall live. This, this is my solemn promise to you forever and ever. Nostiaris, all that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. Whatever the future holds, I will love you and strengthen you as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn promise to you forever and ever. <laughs> no, Dickon, no, not losing. <laughs> Now we come to the wedding rings, and, and wedding rings serve as a symbol of the vows you've taken. They're a reminder of the, 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 the vows that have been promised, and they're an outward and visible sign of an inward and an invisible love which binds them together. And as rings without edge or seam, they had no beginning or end. And, and, and so they symbolize the perfection of love. So. Nusiades with this ring, it, oh sorry, this ring is a symbol of my love and affection for you forever. Catherine and then my girl. This ring is my, is a symbol of my love and affection for you forever. And now, with the authority given to you by the Almighty God, I now declare you husband and wife. Now you may kiss the Lord. Now, we're just going to sign. Si supieras la locura que llevo, que me hiere y me mata por dentro, y que más da, mira que al final lo que importa es que. Father, we want to thank you for this time. We know that you've heard the intentions of Kate and Milciades, but we would acknowledge right now that all the intentions of the world are useless if we do not have the ability to keep them up. And so that's why we would ask on this day for your blessing on this couple. We would ask that they would find the strength to hold fast to these vows as you enable them by your Holy Spirit. Father, we would ask that you would continually stir up in them affection, compassion, and love for one another. We would ask that you would strengthen them by your spirits, or that you would strengthen their spirits by your spirit, that their love for one another would be infused by your love, and that they might enjoy the good times together and hold strong during the trials that they face. 
We would also ask, Lord, that you would bless this couple in all that they set out to do. May their house be filled with your peace. May your abundant blessings rain down on them. And may they be blessed by recognizing your hand in all that they receive. We ask all these things knowing that you are a God who is willing and able to provide for those who humbly come before him to ask for your favor. So we ask all these things in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And so, as we complete this service, may the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the Lord shine his face over all of you and grant you favor. May the Lord watch over you, your families, and give you peace now and forever, for Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen. All right. All well done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now introduce you to Milciatis and Kate de Gevara. De Gevara. Yay. 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 There you go. Very proud mum. Very proud mum.